day one of our master's year. Let's do this. How are we feeling? I'm tired. I feel, I feel amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to get to the lecture. Oh, if you've just stumbled across my channel, hi, I'm Claire. I study maths at the University of Exeter in the UK and today is the first day of my masters. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along my friend? For it's our last refrain. Okay, new space. This is my university room, which I've just moved into. You can watch my move-in vlog on my channel. Um, so yeah, sorry it's a little bit bare back here. I am gonna do something with it, I just haven't decided what yet. So yeah, I'm just back from class. I had three hours this morning, all back to back, and that was it. So it's now about 1.30 and I'm done for the day. I had all three of the classes that I'm taking this term, an hour of each, plus I'm also doing my dissertation throughout the year. So the three classes I had were Dynamical Systems and Chaos, um, Logic, Models and Sets, and Algebraic Curves. And it was good. Um, to be honest, I guess I'll see how it goes throughout the term, but I feel good, especially about the Logic one, I really enjoy that. That's really the only class I wanted to take this term. The other two I'm kind of taking because I had no choice. <laughs> um, just the way that the timetabling worked out. But it is still um, areas of maths that I really enjoy. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about maths because I feel like I'm really interested, but I don't know how many of you are really interested. So in terms of just a master's in general, I definitely have a lot more independent time and like independent study than I would have had in previous years. I already had a lot of that before, but this year I really have a lot of that because I think I only have about nine contact hours a week, which is nothing compared to previous years. I think last year I had at least double that. So that's nice, I'm enjoying it. So the plan for the rest of the day is I have a little bit of work that I'm gonna do now for my classes later in the week and this evening I'm going to a cheerleading taster session just because I'm interested. I've never done cheerleading. I say every year that I'll try it and I never do and this is my last year so it's the year to do the things that I always say I was going to do and never get round to. I have to go over a bunch of prerequisites for one of my classes. So, I just got back from cheerleading, um, it was so good, I've never done it before, it was really fun, um, it destroyed my eyeliner, I just sweated it everywhere and then I was walking around talking to people looking like this and I didn't even realise, but other than that it was really good, um, I tried bass and flying which was an experience considering I'd never done either. The basing was quite easy, um, but the flying was really hard. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why the lighting's doing that. Um, yeah, I wanted to do the flying just because I feel like if I am gonna try this, um, I should go all out, try everything, no regrets, um, just see what it's like. It was really good, I fell the first time, forwards was just really scary because my foot went like that but after that it was fine so yeah it was really fun a new experience which is what um university is all about trying everything that's available to you through the university always good to put yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit especially because i went not knowing anybody um so i didn't have that protection of you know if you go knowing someone then you might only talk to that person whereas i was kind of forced to go and talk to other people which is really good because i met some really lovely girls so yeah a really nice first day back I know that's the thing. A lot of them say you need, they need sunlight. I need a plant that needs no sunlight, no water. Yeah, the ones I was looking at, they're like, they need to be well watered and well drained. Yeah. 
That's so true, actually. I appreciate you. Good afternoon. I went into town this morning, um, looked at some plants with two of my friends, Callum and Tasha, who has not been in the vlogs before, but she's in this one, finally. I didn't actually end up getting a plant yet. I know I want a little one um, for a shelf that I've got. And then I got back and just did some admin stuff. Um, I've emailed my um, supervisor for my dissertation. I've chosen a dissertation topic, but I'm not very confident with it because it wasn't my first choice um, for, for project topic. And yeah, I'm having some doubts about partly whether I'm that interested in it and partly whether I'm able to do it because it's an area of maths that I haven't chosen to do a lot of this year just because I wasn't planning on doing that topic so I am kind of nervous about that but hopefully I'll have this meeting and ask all the questions that I need to ask and get it in a good direction so that I know what I'm doing with that. On days like today where I have no lectures um, which by the way yeah I have no lectures today I didn't say that but that's just how my timetables worked out this year I am still going to try and do like a at five hours of work it's just because I think if I get myself into that habit I'll be less likely to to fall in the, into the trap of only showing up to lectures and then not doing very much work outside of that which is definitely a risk at university because so much of it is independent so um yep that's what I've been doing that's the plan for this afternoon to do some work and I need to edit the freshest fair video which I'm really excited to do because that was really fun um so yeah, that's what's going on with me. I've just watched the trailer for The Politician on Netflix and it looked so good. Um, it comes out in about three days and I literally can't wait. And I've also just seen that Robin Hood is on Netflix, the Taron Egerton version, which I haven't seen. So that is what I'm going to be watching this evening. So cute. Look at her shoes as well. I love it. I love it. Look at this coordination. <laughs> Oh, Callum also too. looks very nice this He's wearing a simple plaid number with a maroon leg. Alright, Claire, your hair looks fierce. Thanks. Drink that average drink. <laughs> she just drew up so bad. I'm like, oh, I'm Look at my so it's Wednesday evening, um, sorry I haven't sat down and spoken today, I've had a really hectic day. I had gymnastics at 12 till 2. I don't think I did anything before that, I think I literally woke up in time for that and went. I, maybe I did some editing. Um, of my freshest fur video which is about done now so hopefully that will go out tomorrow and then after gymnastics I, I did a little bit of work for my dissertation because I've arranged a meeting with my supervisor for Friday so that's what I did with my day and then drinks with my flatmates which is really good after this year we're no longer going to be living together um who knows where we're gonna be also we probably will not have as much time as we have right now ever again when we're living together because once the deadlines hit and once once um the year gets going 
it is not going to be fun and we are not going to have time to be going out very much so that was really nice and we did not go clubbing afterwards because um i was honestly ready for bed at about 8 30. i'm just oh and also have a look at my eyeliner this took me so long i've got to feature it but um yeah no why did i lean forward my eyes the bags you can't miss the camp is not picking it up but i am so shattered and i did not have any lectures today um, because of my timetabling, but I do have lectures tomorrow. I think I have three hours and then another three hours on Friday. So, gotta get up for my lectures. I don't even think I start till like 10.30, so I could have a lie-in. And yeah, that's my day. So I'm just back from campus and I look like a sweaty mess but um you know what this is just what I look like right now I've had to walk to and from lectures all day it's about four o'clock and yeah I'm sweaty I'm a mess I have a breakout on my forehead and on my chin as well um we're looking good <laughs> it is too early in term to start falling apart so gonna just keep powering through all this work that needs doing today so i need to um finish editing the freshest fair video because i want that up today and i still need to put background music on it get all my dissertation stuff together because i'm meeting my supervisor tomorrow watch some videos for one of my lectures tomorrow which is actually not a lecture and he's just going to answer questions he's not going to teach anything which means that i need to teach myself some stuff so that i have some actual questions i can ask him because i don't want to not use that time so i need to prepare for that and um that's everything that i'm going to try and do now i think i need to leave for cheerleading in two hours if you're watching this and you're at university you can do this we can all do this i need to do a lot of work in the next two hours Ow. Look how much hair just came off in that. I'm sorry if you're grossed out by that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna get some work done. And I've just dropped that hairband. This, this is not going well for me. Okay, I'm just gonna get it done. It's all gonna happen, and I'm gonna get to go to cheerleading, and it's gonna be great. I need to go to cheerleading. Um, I've done everything that I wanted to do right now, except for uploading the video, which I'll just set, I'll just leave it uploading while I'm gone and it will go up when I get back, so, all good. They're all watching my Fresh as Fair video that I just posted. So cute, they're watching my video. Hello, they're so supportive. Good morning. Um, I overslept this morning. It's coming up to 11. I have six minutes before I need to go, and I set my alarm for. 8.45 and I wake up at 10 so um that's good and my room's a mess my life's a mess but it's all fine I'm just about staying on top of everything I've just made breakfast and I'm just waiting for it to cool down and I'm gonna give you a very rushed summary of what I'm up to today while I wait for that to cool down and then hopefully eat that in um five minutes because that's all I have left before I need to go so today I've got lectures until six. Um, I've also got a meeting with my supervisor, which I prepared for yesterday in my very hectic two hours between lectures finishing and cheerleading starting, which I really wanted to go to. Yeah, lectures till six, and then I think I'm gonna have a me evening because I just feel like I need one. I've had a very hectic week, and this is only week one. Like it's gonna get, this is nothing compared to how it's actually gonna be later in term like right now I, I don't even have any coursework and I'm and I'm running around like trying to keep up with everything so it's gonna get much worse um sorry if my voice sounds weird I think I might be coming down with fresh flu <laughs> all these freshers getting me ill 
so yeah that's my plan for the day i need to eat this porridge really fast but it's very hot right now um so yeah it's now 10 56 and i need to go in four minutes and i also need to clean my teeth after i've eaten this so um I'm going to be late today, but that's fine. And I'm also unsure about this outfit, but I really have like no time to do anything about it. So um, I'm going like this. I feel like it looks a little bit pajamary, but you know what? It can't be a style icon every day. Sometimes I have to look like I've gone out in my pajamas. There's Tom. Hello, Tom. Hi there. Last lecture of the day, and it's clearly a very popular one. Nude. So Tom and I just got back from our lecture. Um, we were the only two people who showed up. But to be fair, it was more of an if you have questions or want to go through examples kind of thing. And it was actually really good because I am taking this module um, very last minute because I had a timetabling issue with the module I actually wanted to do. So this was literally the only module I could take to fill in that gap um, because certain modules have certain classes you have to have done in previous years that I haven't done and the classes that I can take, I can't do because of the terms they're in. That was really badly explained, but essentially I had no choice but to take this module and I haven't done some of the classes I could have done that would have helped um, in previous years. So because of that, I had a couple of questions. I am also really kind of aware that I am at a disadvantage with this. So I wanted to make sure that I understand everything as I go along really well. Anyway, long story short, I had some questions. I now feel like I really understand that stuff. So, yeah, all good. I also had my meeting with my supervisor for my research project today. And I don't know if I've actually said that the research project is basically the master's dissertation thing. 10% of my grade for this um, research thing is where I have to like defend my paper um, and present it in front of faculty members. So, that's going to be fun, something to look forward to. And yeah, I had my meeting with my supervisor. I'm still a little bit iffy about my project. I'm just not very confident. Hopefully it'll be fine. And now I'm going to have a really chill evening and relax. I was having a very chill evening um, and then I called my mum and I think just all of the bottled up stress <laughs> about my dissertation topic, it just came out and I had my, a complete meltdown about it. Um, but I actually feel a lot better now. So I've had that meltdown, I guess I can now just get on with it. <laughs> um, I don't know what I kind of have in my head is good enough for a master's project and I don't know if I can actually do what I have in my head so I don't know it all just came out it all just came out and I was talking to my mum but I guess it wouldn't be university without my weekly breakdown so um, anyway I didn't really explain it but my grade this year is linked to my second and third years as well as this year because it's an integrated masters it's not just a masters year on its own so i didn't graduate at the end of third year i graduate this year so i'm still technically an undergraduate doing a masters so this year is worth the most but i worked really really hard in second and third year and if i mess it up now i'm just gonna be so mad at myself so yeah and this project is worth like 25% of my grade this year, so it's kind of important. Um, but yeah, I guess just keeping it realistic. Sometimes I have good days and sometimes my days look like this. Um, that's university life. On a slightly more cheerful note, I did pick up my cheerleading top yesterday and I'm very excited about it. And I will show you that tomorrow. 
so as promised the cheerleading top it's got the university of exeter crest on it it says cheerleading and gymnastics 2019 to 2020 and then um they all have like cringy stuff on the back um this one says if you think cheerleading isn't a sport step into my stunt then we'll talk um i don't know how i feel about the cheesy cheesy writing on the back but i do like the top and i actually have on my dance top as well from when i used to be in uh when i used to do dance here so that's basically the same it's like the extra crest and it's got dance on the back so yeah if you join societies at your university you'll probably get a t-shirt like this there's other um clothes too it's called stash they call it that um but yeah sometimes you can get like leggings and shorts and and jumpers and uh and for cheerleading there's like a proper cheerleading outfit but um i think that's just if you're like on the teams so yeah it's all good and so yeah i went to the gym this morning with my flatmate cassie um because i just kind of felt like after last night i need to start the day off good um reset so yeah i went to the gym then i had breakfast in here with my flatmates which is really nice so i'm off to a good start i feel a lot better and i also just feel like what i was stressed about last night i've got over all the stress and i'm now just in the determined like I am just gonna get this done no matter what it takes no matter how hard I okay I got changed did some work um feeling very color coordinated and um back to my usual self and now I'm gonna go have lunch I even did my eye makeup to match my um headband and my shirt what's been going down this weekend um so i said i was going to do a lot of work and to be fair i have done a little bit i have written down the aims for my master's thesis research project thing but do you know what i don't even know what it's called that is how unprepared i feel for this that i don't even know what that thing is called i think it's a research project might be a dissertation it might be a thesis <sighs> we're gonna move swiftly on did some logic we love a bit of logic that is definitely my favorite class at the moment um and that's about it to be honest like i said i was gonna do a whole bunch of stuff for all of my classes but then i was just like at this point i think it would be more useful for me just to take a bit of time for myself and then come back to it with some fresh energy work smarter not harder kind of thing you know i can do the same amount of stuff in a much shorter amount of time if i'm really feeling it which i was not feeling it today and i still have the luxury of being able to say i'm not feeling it so i'm not going to do it which um i'm enjoying while i can because we all know once the coursework starts i will not have a choice about that i watched the first episode of the politician um it's very quirky i honestly don't know how i feel about it but I'm going to keep watching it. Um, I do really like how it's filmed. So yeah, did some work today. And then just things like taking the bins out. I went to the gym this morning. Did some food shopping. Um, all that good stuff. That actually you have to do a lot of that at university. And it takes a lot of time. So um, be prepared for that. You will spend a lot of time doing things like cooking and keeping your room clean and laundry and food shopping but I am clearly in a much better mood now than I was this time yesterday so that's good and this evening I don't even know what I'm gonna do I can do whatever I want because I am giving myself the evening off um even though I gave myself most of the day off this is how it's gonna work maybe watch YouTube videos or something yeah that is um my Saturday Okay, so at this point in the video, I know what you're probably thinking. Claire, you've had the same jeans on for three days straight. I'm sorry, I have finally done my laundry this morning, you'll be pleased to know, and I have different clothes on. So that's my achievement of the day. The jeans thing probably sounds gross if you're not a student, but if you are a student, then you will understand laundry doesn't happen very often. 
jeans have to last a long time. That's a little bit of student reality there for you. And now I'm gonna go watch American Horror Story with my flatmates. You just you, you don't even have to do Why anything. Are you, are you all ready? Are you all ready? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look wherever you want. Let's all say thank no. you for watching. I'm just not in it though. It looks so awkward. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> my arms. Everyone, ready? Three, two, one. Thank you. Oh wow! Thank so you. <laughs> and we're all gonna say thank Callum, you. Can for you watching. look a little more like alive? <laughs> I got to sleep. <laughs> we're, all, we're all gonna say thank you for watching. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> thank, thank you, you for watching. watching. What should people do? Like and subscribe and, and subscribe and, and share like and dislike the video as well as no. like again. <laughs> Callum, what should people do? <laughs> Callum, what should people like do? And subscribe. Yeah. Oh, my voice like broke then. Right. It finally broke. Get it.